All right, so I know I've been away for two weeks, but I'm back. You know, a brief little sabbatical. I mean, hey, everybody's got to rest sometime, you know? So I did last week. Uh, normally, you can expect at least one video a week from me, as well as shorts, sometimes two videos a week. You know, it's hard to say, but at least one. And uh, sorry if I let you down, guys, you know. Uh, I need a little rest from time to time. Uh, anyway... I'm back, so uh, let's get this thing started. Alright, so I was looking at Chappie's enclosure and uh, looks like he needs some new substrate, so let's get to that. Alright, so first things first, let's get out Mr. Chappie. Alright, now we are doorless. Go in here, move this over here, and I can see Mr. Chappie. What's up, dude? What's going on? What's going on, my guy? Good old Mr. Chappy here. Let's see. Uh, I have this little 20 gallon tank that I use to hold my pal in just while I am cleaning the enclosure out. And let's get to that. So let's get everything out of this nice Zen Habitats enclosure, which uh, happens to be uh, four foot by two foot by two foot, which is a dang good size for my boy, I think. So let's just get this. Well, let's get the trash can to a more optimal placing. But uh, yeah, let's get this here. And there's a lot of dirt, but we're just gonna throw it in the trash. So let's just keep on doing that. Last time that I did, uh, did uh, a total substrate clean out was when I found out that he had uh, some little spider friends living in his enclosure which came from I'm guessing eggs that were well obviously they came from eggs but I think they came from eggs that were in the plant which I had recently put in there and you know that can happen Sometimes you can inadvertently bring in insects that way. I mean, especially if they're eggs, you wouldn't know until until they hatch, right? So that's how that works. I'm gonna leave some of that little substrate there. It's not, we don't need a full, full enclosure. I mean, full change out completely. I like to leave a little bit of soil at the bottom uh, because I say so. Now, I'm gonna, I mean, I'll do most of it actually. Most of it's gonna go. So uh, this is the less glory, uh, the less glorious uh, part of owning reptiles, you do have to make sure you take good care of them. Clean up their enclosure when it needs to be done. And uh, if you don't, well, you probably shouldn't have them, uh, reptiles, honestly. So, I'll look at that. I'm gonna take some of this moss and I'll throw it over here because we are gonna keep some of the moss in here. He doesn't, you know, spend as much time in the rest of the enclosure as he does in his hide. You go, oh, you just stay hidden all the time. He can't be happy. Well, actually, he does uh, come out, but he doesn't. He doesn't come out for long periods of time. Honestly, he'll he'll go out usually midday for a while. You know, hang out, bath, do all that kind of stuff, check things out. But anyhow. We're gonna put some fresh mulch. I'm gonna leave some of this in here, but I'm gonna take out a lot of, like I say, a lot of this cocoa fiber soil. I'm not gonna take it all out, but a good amount of it will be gone.
Definitely gonna have to clean out his water. Dish two. All right, so let's go ahead and take this into the kitchen and dump it out and we'll clean it better when we're ready to put it in. You stay there, okay? Da, 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 da. Alrighty, and I think it's just about time to add some mulch. sure we get a good idea about how deep we are. I think this will be fine right here. Oh yeah. That is going to work nicely. Anyway, let's make sure we get that in there. Kind of like to put something in there. <laughs> he likes his little rock path so we won't cover that up for him. He does enjoy his little rock path, so. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nice. And all we need to do here at this point is get the water dish in and then get the you know doors on and the chappy in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he does like his water. That was nice. And if you're wondering about like wiping the enclosure down and all that, I actually do that on a pretty regular basis. And it's pretty good today. All right. My little dude right back in here. There you go, bud. There you go. <laughs> For those of you who are not sure if Chappie was really all that big and people are like, eh, he looks small, it's 
smaller than you said. Yeah, I know. He's a big dude. Check him out. <laughs> and as soon as he gets all the way in his home, then we could actually uh, shut his door to you, you know. But I'm just letting him crawl in on his own. Little dude's just checking out his new nice and clean enclosure. Look at him. Such a good pal. He's like, oh yeah, this is nice. <laughs> What's up, dude? You come say hi. What's up, dude? <laughs> I think that's his seal of approval right there. He's like, thanks, Dad. He's like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> All righty. Well, uh, you know, other than my good boy Chappie here, hey, Chappie. Other than my good boy Chappie here, I do also uh, plan on feeding my girl Lilu, and we'll get to that now uh, as well as uh, maybe doing a partial change out on her substrate I think we should partial in here let's see my girl is sitting there peeking out from behind going hey dad what's up what are you doing in my blind closure Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing in your closure. Good little girl. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to give it a little bit of love and a little TLC. <laughs> Huge old flat stone. <laughs> Look at her. She's over there just checking it out, too. She's like, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Don't worry, girl. This is all a good thing for you. Uh-oh. That's picking up your stuff. Uh-oh. Look how big my girl is. Why don't you move to that side of the enclosure so I can get this over here and I can give you some little bit of new substrate, huh? That'd be good. She's like, what are you doing in my house? It's okay. Why don't you go on the other side of your house so I can do this for you? Now some of you are probably thinking, like, why didn't you take your, uh, why didn't you take your girl out while you did that? Well, sometimes I do. I mean, if it was a complete change, I probably would, but I don't think it's real necessary at the moment to take her out just for a partial change. And she'll be fine. Look how big my girl is, though. Look at her. Definitely needs a new home, but that's okay. She will be getting a much larger enclosure very soon. I'm a pretty girl. Let's move your tail away. Thank you. Scroll. Oops. So then I can put this in here. She has a nice little hide there. I'll go ahead and go onto this side for me, please. Would you go onto that side? Thank you. Because your water needs to be washed out as well. And since, of course, I did not take her out, I have to close her enclosure. All right, we're all cleaned out. Just got put some water. Sure. Actually, it's real. It's not the. Oh well. Uh, oh, well, yeah. Hold on. That is not. Yeah. Really, very level, and that's gonna cause a little bit of problem. Not a big problem, but yeah. There we go. There we go. So, yes. Yeah. There. There we go. Big deal. Plenty of water, and that's good. And now, time to feed my girl. My girly girl, my baby. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's time to feed my girl. Oh yes, and she is hungry, for sure. There we go. And that's a nice picture. Anywho, uh, by the way, that is a 
frozen thawed mouse. I do not feed mine live because I don't need to. And you know, as I said before, I don't have a huge problem with the live feeding like some people do, but what I do have a problem with is my uh, snake getting mites, which uh, you know, can't happen from live feeding uh, and not so much with the frozen thawed. So there you go. All right, so that's about it for this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. But please, please, above all, subscribe. Subscribe.